it's time to move in May. Physical activity, staying moving, keeping in good physical fitness, staying in shape, or just getting a little bit of exercise is the theme for the month of May. Hence the name, Move in May. So how can you stay active and stay fit while staying at home? Well, I got just a craft over here to help you out. We're gonna get started on an exercise cube. This is a dice here that's gonna have loads of exercises for you to do and you're gonna have a lot of fun doing them. They're all very simple exercises to keep you moving, so let's get started on building this cube. Now first things first, let's talk about some materials that you're gonna need. Scissors to cut out our cube. Color pencils, color crayons. I'm sure you've noticed our cube is looking a little plain here, a little colorless. We're gonna be coloring it with some color pencils to make it pop out whenever it's all done. You'll also need a glue stick to put our cube together and a black pin. What is the black pin for? Well, I'll show you. We're gonna start with that first. Now, if you look at our cube here, you'll notice that there is a blank line next to the name of each exercise. In this case, there's a blank line next to punches. This is the amount of times that you will be doing each exercise. Now, I've left this blank because I wanted to give you the option to customize your workout. However many of each exercise you feel is right for you is a number that you will put in each box. Now, we're gonna do a very light workout with this example here, so we're only gonna do, say, 10 punches. So I'm gonna go ahead and write 10. So now we have 10 filled out. Go ahead and look at all of the exercises on the cube and decide how many of each exercise you feel is appropriate for you. Fill all of those out and we can move on to our next step. All right, so now that all of my numbers are filled out, it's time to begin coloring our cube faces. We want to make this look super nice. We have something pretty to look at while we're throwing it around. So I picked a bunch of bright colors here because I wanted the picture on the cube to kind of pop out so that way I know immediately what exercise I'm going to be doing in a second line. So let's get started. Hmm, yeah, the shade of pink is uh, very similar to the first shade that I used. My cube has been colored. That was a lot of work. Anyway, now that your cube has been colored, it's time for us to cut it out. Get your scissors ready. Make sure you cut around the outline of the cube. You want to make sure you get these, include these flaps. Do not cut these flaps out. Leave the flaps on the boxes. My cube is now all cut out, so now here comes the tricky part, so follow me on this one guys, follow me, get your glue stick ready. Alright, so there's quite a few steps that we're going to need to do in order to put our cube together, but the first and most important thing is we are going to fold the cube on every single solid black line, starting with this one here. Fold it back like that and we're going to keep going until we fold it on every single black line. Alright so once our cube has been folded on every single black line it's going to look a little like this. It's going to look all sorts of sorts of funky here. That's okay. That's what it's supposed to look like. Now our next step is we're going to begin using our glue and we're going to apply glue to all of our white tabs here in order to put them together. So we should have a cube shape like this when we're done, and gluing the white tabs is gonna keep it in that shape. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start with this tab right here. Oh, this is a hard glue stick to open, there we go. So get some glue running right here. single tab is going to have glue on it, so just start gluing and putting it together whichever way makes the most sense to you. It's not really a right or wrong way as long as they all are sticking together.
and we should have a cube when you're done. Go ahead and give that a couple minutes to dry before you attempt to use it. Very important, let it dry. So we're gonna come back to this in a few minutes. All right, so my cube is all done and dry. Now in order to test this out, I've enlisted the help of a volunteer who's gonna be performing some of the exercises for me while I throw the cube. Volunteer, if you would please say hello to everybody at home. Hi! And who are you? What is your name? Karen Kyle. Oh, Karen Kyle. How long have you been at UCP? Long time. Very long time. I think everybody knows who Karen is. If not, that's Karen at, Kyle. At, at, at the at the other years we've been here. She's been, been a long time veteran of UCP. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> now Karen is going to be performing our exercises, so we're going to go ahead and spin the block. Are you ready, Karen? Yeah. All right. Throwing the cube in three, two, one. What do we got? We have ten punches. All right, ten punches. You ready, Karen? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Good job. Good job. We'll do one more roll. And our last roll, three, two, one. And so we have ten chest expansions. All right, we got 10 chest expansions. Are you ready? Open, close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome job, Karen. Round of applause for Karen. Thank you very much for helping us out here today. And you see, that was quick, that was easy, and it was a lot of fun. This is a great way to stay healthy and stay in shape. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed your exercise cube craft, and we'll be back with another craft next week. Until then, see you later. Bye, see you later.